these tanks hold hundreds of thousands of gallons of chemicals. They just sit a mile from Charleston, West Virginia's only water treatment plant. And yet the state has not inspected these tanks since 1991. That's because it says the tanks are now considered storage. The material that they were storing there is not, it's not a hazardous material. And because they are considered not hazardous, they don't have to be fully regulated by the state or federal government. And that means no inspections. It is a pollutant, of course. It's something that doesn't belong in the river. Doug Wood, a water biologist who worked for 33 years at the state's Department of Environmental Protection, says just because it's considered a pollutant does not mean it's not dangerous and doesn't mean it shouldn't be regulated. One of a class of thousands of chemicals that haven't been studied. These are tanks that, that should have been inspected, I, I would imagine. West Virginia's U.S. Attorney Booth Goodwin has launched an investigation and says regulated or not, hazardous or not, no one is above the law when it comes to keeping the water safe. The tanks were in bad shape, if their secondary containment systems were uh, shoddy, um, if uh, they had a release, saw it and didn't report it for a while, all of those things are things that we would be looking to. Goodwin says it is still too early to know if laws were broken, but the fact that the facility just changed ownership might make it easier to determine who knew what and when. If you violate federal environmental laws, you will be prosecuted. The mayor of Charleston, who calls this the worst disaster in his city, welcomes a criminal investigation, but does not let the government off the hook. I'm not sure what responsibility the state has here, but if, if not them, who? The former biologist with West Virginia's Department of Environmental Protection tells me the issue here is the chemical. It has never been fully tested, so it's not known how hazardous it really is. And because of that, the storage facility was never inspected because it's not regulated. He believes that if it had been regulated, that pollutant, as it is called, or if it had been fully tested, that that could have changed everything of what happened in the last few days.